All of it in sync. Hey, even if you think that you are, you know, good, you can handle stuff like that, and most sides, you know, blessed you to where, you know, you able to, you know, stand. Sometimes you might come across a situation where you need help. Yeah. You know, like you, you think, oh, I, you know, most I've been holding me down for this long, you know, you know, I got this. You know, and sometimes, you know, a situation can happen where you absolutely need, you know, you don't got anything. Like, for instance, uh, Mike Tyson, the first fought, fight he lost was to Buster Douglas. And basically, they was like, you know, man, he got this. You know, they didn't even bring, you know, uh, shit for him. You know, like, cuts, cut uh, material, oh, yeah. stuff like that. They didn't, like, like he, his eye was fucking swollen up. They didn't even have the material to put on his eye because they thought, you know, he good. You know, he, he about to fight some bum, you know, like that. You know, so his eyes swollen up. They had to get like a rubber glove and like put some ice in it, and put it on his, uh, put it on his uh, eye, as opposed to like a cold compressor, you know, put it on his eye, you know, because they wasn't even ready, you know. So, you know, your team, you know, is supposed to be ready for you, you know, just like you know, it's it's a it's a whole body how you know it, you know operates. Body. That's good. That's good now. Huh. Yeah, I got a, a quick scripture. This is Second Timothy two and twenty, and this is dealing with those uh, pr precious metals, you know. Cause uh, everybody that's that's uh, although it may seem like they're 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 iron, everybody is an iron, you know. Everybody's in hard like iron, you know. Some people are soft, and this scripture just came to mind when when the brother said, "Hey, if an iron hit a piece of wood, it's going it's going to destroy it." Well, you you got you got you got two thirds. They will be considered the wood right now, you know. There will be a vessel unto dishonor. But the, but the men of the Lord are going to be vessels unto honor. They're, they will be that iron or that precious metal. But this is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 20. It says, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man purge himself for, from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepare unto every good work. You know, and, and that will be the men that continue to endure in this thing. The men that endure to the end, you know. And some sometimes, you know, you, you might have sh uh, stripes amongst brothers in camps, but then, you know, a, a brother would, 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 would get on another brother, you know, but that brother that he get on, he should be, he should be able to take that rebuke and, 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 and uh, suffer his, his, his fault to be revealed, man, instead of getting pride, prideful and bucked up. But guess what? If you if you hitting the brother with precepts, you know, to pretty much rebuke him, and, and the brother, you know, gets sensitive and, and, he, and he falls out, that shows what? That he wasn't iron. That's that true. shows that he was that wood. That, he, that, that shows that he was he was that wood because the scriptures say iron sharpened of iron. So iron iron can was you know uh, not, sparks, not, actually. Not, when you uh, slap when you uh, slap iron together, you get sparks. Okay. You know, there might be a, a, a dissension. But well, ultimately, yeah, you come out. Yeah. You get that fire. You sharp it. And, 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 and each each one is, is sharpened. You know. Mm -hmm. So some brothers, they ain't that iron. They're not that precious metal. They're not. They're not gold and and, 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 uh, and silver. You know what the what they are is they they're that wood. You know. That's a good uh, word. And, uh, what you what you? I know. Go ahead, I Okay, cut. Thessalonians 3 and 14. If any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him, that he may be ashamed. And, let, and yet count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. Ooh. Yeah, that's, yeah, and that's, 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 a, that, that's what Yahweh was talking about also when he said, Love thy neighbor and love thy enemies, because we got a beef with a, a brother. You supposed to, you supposed to, you're supposed to basically talk it out. You supposed to deal in in the spirit with it. You're not supposed to just let it fester and become a super demon, and then you someone eventually ends up getting kicked out or falling out. You're supposed right. to uh, deal with it, man. Because it said a monitor, okay. and it said it's. Uh, I know I can't read that again. Uh, uh, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 14. If any man obey not our word by epistle, note that man and have not company with him, and that that man may be ashamed. 
and yet count him not as an enemy, yeah. but admonish him as a brother. Because you're admonishing him because you love that brother and you don't want to see him to walk down the, the wrong path. But you're, you're admonishing him so that he, he can check himself with that, that y'all can be on the same court. Now, because he said, don't count him as an enemy because you, 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 you're checking him and you want to get right. But if he, if he don't get right, then you cast him off as a heathen man. This is uh, just to follow that up, you know. This is uh, Amos 3 and 3. Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Hold on, hold on one second. Okay. Hey, we had this, we had this uh, dude right here. Watch out, do I do right there? He going down the street. He was a well. We will put it like this. He was a uh, he was an Israelite from Germany. Yeah, he was straight up from Germany. Straight up from Germany. Stand over here. You know. He's straight up from Germany. He was straight up from Germany, and, and the spirit brought him over. He he don't know. You know what I mean? But look, he don't realize he's an Israelite. He's one of the most special people. He took a picture of the sign, but that was just still spiritual that he took a picture of the sign. Because what? He gonna go home. He gonna look. look he gonna look it up. He gonna look at it. But he gonna always have it in his phone. At least if he if he deleted, hey, he's condemned anyway. But yet still, he was from Germany. And I asked him. I said, was your people from like, basically, uh, your ancestors from here? Like your forefathers? He said, no, they was always over there. So he <laughs> they, they, they was always in Germany. His <laughs> people was in Germany always. You know what I mean? So. Check that out. Hey, hey, hey that's, that's, a, that's some Israelites scattered abroad. That's right. Yeah. Right. Beautiful. Uh, 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 and he, in Detroit, he had the accent and everything. Yeah, he was German, but he said people. No, nah, his people not from here. People from over there. He would know if his father was like from World War One and Two. They went over there. He would have knew that. Yeah, my grandfather from from over here in Mississippi. He lived. He grew up. I was in. Yeah, he could say that. You know, because they went to the military, and they was over there in the war, and they stayed over there. They, you know, but no, he said we was always over there. Because you got you got czars and shit. Yeah, you, know, you got kings. Uh, uh, Israelites that uh, uh, czars would be kings over there in Germany, over there in Russia. There's Jake, Jake, Jake's everywhere, man. Right. Jake, Jake ain't just only in America. Kind. Because I was in, I was in college. I had a guy to play. I played basketball, and they had. It was a guy that was. Um, he had. He was from Germany. He was, uh, uh, he was a brother from straight up from Germany. You know, he was a young, young guy, taller, but he was from Germany and shit. I, I didn't go into the detail of his past, but he was he was German like a mug, speaking two languages, shit, three languages. You know, talking to everybody, you know what I mean? But but this is just off the street, you know? Spirit of the Lord, man, see our people are around this whole world and every facet of the, of this, uh, of the uh, globe. And nobody knows this, you know? We think we're only in America and Africa. You know, our people are in Africa, but we're not African. The Nigerians are Israelites. Come on. There you go. Come on, it's a lot. How'd you find out you were Israelite? Oh, okay. Uh, 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 oh, he got it. You had your preset box. Can you go back to it? Yeah. To lock it. This is um, Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? You know, I just brought that out because, you know, that's a question being asked. Basically, you know, if uh, two men or if men are not on the same accord, you know what I'm saying, you ain't going to be able to, uh, to break bread together. You know what I mean? If one brother, you know, he believe, uh, just on um, simple terms, you know, if one, you know, brother believe, you know, your house shy is a black man and you got somebody else that's staying, you know, it's called on the name Jesus and think he's a, you know, so-called, you know, white man, then, you know, you got, you got this issue, you got a problem there, you know what I'm saying? And because, you know, the fact of the matter, scriptures say what they say, so it's like either one, one person has to understand it and the other one doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's all I had to say on that. To the fire. This prophecy is basically is going to it's be fulfilled now, but it's going to be fulfilled on a mass schedule, a mass scale.
and it's also how specific this prophecy is because it, it's not one of those pre uh, uh, prophecies where you got to go here, got to go there, that priest up over there. The most I made this, you know, blatant and clear, you know, and it's still, you know, crazy how some people it. still can't yeah, understand. Yeah, I got it. Okay, got it. I got it. Uh, oh, I know you got it. I got it. That's fine. Uh, what do you want to start off with? Hold on. Sixteen. Oh, thirteen. Oh, okay. You got a question? Yeah. You got a precept? You got a precept? No, no, no. No, I just asked you a question. You said ask me a question. But you know, how do you, hey, hey, you know you're Israelite, right? Okay. How long you knew you've been Israelite? I read it in the Bible. So you just picked it up out of the scriptures that we're the Israelites? So-called black, basically. Do you watch videos? You watch videos, YouTube? anything? That? No? Okay. You just, you just, you just liked it. You gravitated to it. Well, well, if you if you look at this sign over here, you know, uh, the people that's on this over sign right here, they're, they're the they're the only ones that's Israelites, you know. But then you have other people that scattered abroad too. But basically, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, go ahead. Psalm 16. Okay. Revelation 13 and 16. He causes, he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and blind, to receive the mark in their right hand or in, in their foreheads. Right. That, okay. It said, read that first. It says, all. And he uh, get mark. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in their right hand or their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the mark, and the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. Oh, so, so the scripture says, you know, and there's going to come a time where you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have the mark of the beast. You know, so, so it says, uh, you got that already? Uh, did you be still looking for it? Uh, just a uh, mark in the Hebrew. Oh, in the Hebrew. Right. I mean, no, 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 not Hebrew. Okay, yeah, that's that's about about to to but basically, it says, he calls all. Both small and great, meaning you know, it doesn't matter if you, you know, you could be the, the, uh, a celebrity or you know, you could be a nobody. You know, you could have, you know, uh, 10,000, uh, 100,000 followers on Instagram or one follower. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, what your social status is. He said he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark in his right hand or his forehead. Can you read that one more time? Yeah. 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 And he calls us all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So in their right hand, you know, so this this mark is basically your RFID chip, just to be more blunt with it. Your, your mark is, is going to be, you know, and they're already doing it. You got people on, you know, YouTube that's showing themselves taking the mark of the beast. You know, and you can, you know, buy and sell it. There's this guy who purchased gas with it, you know, on uh, We Are Change. That's uh, called, I think, transhumanism. The, the, uh, it's in the... Uh, in the title of the video, but he purchased gas with it. You know, so there's gonna come a time where, you know, everybody's gonna be have to get this mark, or you're gonna be have to, you know, basically, you know, you're gonna have to get it, you know, how, yeah, how you right. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got that. So in that script, um, <coughs> in that script, the word mark uh, in Greek is karagma, it means a stamp. And Imprinted mark. Mark branded upon horses, things carved, a stamp, a badge. So, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. So, in RFID chip, that, uh, that's actually being commercialized right now. But that, that's a, uh, you literally have to get it implanted. You know, it's, it's, it's a little mark, and when it, in the time of martial law, 
when uh, when the government implements that um, that RFID chip, it's going to be used as a as a mark. It's going to you're basically getting marked so that they can track and uh, locate you. Uh, you know, it's a badge of uh, ID. It's, uh, it keeps all your medical records, all your personal uh, information. So it's a it's a perfect uh, it's a perfect correlation to that scripture. You know, there's nothing else that's more comparable to uh, uh, the mark of the beast than the RFID chip. Well, you got some of those Yeah, I got some. Yeah, because uh, yeah, yeah, that's basically you know the devil, right? A so-called white man who is Esau. You know, he's basically trying to supersede you know the Most High. You know what I'm saying? He trying to like, literally like, like stepping away the most high. Like, I got the juice. I got the power now. You know what I'm saying? You don't control these people no more. Cause yeah, he want a number. He want to know all your whereabouts. You know what I'm saying? He want to know where you're working. You know what I'm saying? Where, where you go to? Where, hey, he want to know everything, man, about you. You know your education level and blood type and all this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because again, he trying to he trying to be like that a, a god like power on earth. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, but uh, going back to that word mark, you know, it basically means it's a uh, cutting in the flesh or an incision, all right? Going back to Leviticus, the scripture says this here in Leviticus,